So then we are back with the moon understandings from the uh, Second Tabernacle Services regarding the scriptures spoken of by the Messiah and the prophets and the writings. These uh, scripts come from then the uh, Aramaic English translation of the word came from the Hebrews, from the Hebraic line of understanding of the scripture. So then we find also ourselves being mistaken with a certain calendar of pagan nations regarding 2012, December next month. It is absolutely imperative for us to understand pagan calendars are not part of the Hebraic calendar. The great event had already taken place 36 months ago during the time of then the ending of the covenant of death made in 2001 and ended up in war and then the covenant of death then was broken this was then the grander event of 08, 09 and the same time the thousand years rule of the seat granted to Satan started then in 1009 when the Muslims destroyed the holy city and also the tomb there were no more cities at the time came then the time of the seat is the first understanding of the pit when Satan was then or Nahashtin should say was then bound his facet of a destroyer then he was bound and then the seat had started since then we are returning to the truth where the holy cities are returning then we find ourselves during 2012 but then next month nothing is going to take place there is no great event coming up lining up of planets is not going to change the lifestyle or the living in the planet simply it's not part of the creator's calendar the great event did not line up or what they are thinking of the 2012 December 21st in fact it was then September of 08 and then initiation of 09 this was the great event the other calendars did, did not line up properly because there was a mistake in the part of Satan in his calculation of the pagan calendar obviously we find in Yohanan he entered the holy city and he was there for quite some time. If you begin to understand how long it would take for his people then to organize themselves and find in the holy scripture, find in them the prophecies, they stayed over there 36 months. There is then a lack of precision in the Hashtin's calendar of 36 months. And the mistake is very easily finding for his information. Is when Nehemiah entered the city and closed the gates. The time already started counting. His calendar, Nehemiah's calendar, started when the prophet went out and begins to speak. That's where the mistake came up. So we find then the city, the first city from the time of. Yahweh, Yeshua, Yohanan, he was then the disciple. He was a Shaliak. He was then in the first holy city. All their documents gives you then the understanding of the people clustering such as Yehuda. They were on their way to form another holy city. But truly the first city as perfect as per the design was during the time of Yohanan. It's very evident. He was then a Shaliak. He did know the Messiah himself. He spoke with him. He learned from him. They spent time together for 490 days. They were very close friends. And then when he entered the city, then Nahashtin obviously had to stay outside. And they remained there in the city for 36 months. Then when Yohanan came out in Revelation 10, verse 10, heaven told him, you have to go out yet and prophesy amongst the peoples, nations, and then kings. Then when he spoke, 
then people became to be afraid. Very afraid of him. That was the time when he was taken in and brought to the island. From the island he never wrote. So then until this time, when he was speaking the prophecies, then Nehashten's time began to be counted. That's why you have a discrepancy of 36 months. 2012, such a big deal, is a piece of junk. Absolutely a piece of junk. There is not an evidence from the Holy Scripture. Zero. Zippo. Nothing. Because the event already had taken place. 08, 09. End of 08, starting of 09. Ended then the covenant of death with a thousand years that Satan ruled. And we are returning to the truth. That's why we are doing a time of restoration. So 2012 means nothing. So don't be concerned with planets coming crashing our planet and asteroids or rocks from space or any other crazy lunacy. Forget it. Absolutely forget it. People are going to get up in the morning 21st, on the 22nd, and the 23rd, and the 24th, and the 25th, and they have to go to work. There is no major event. The event has already taken place. It was the finishing of the thousand years of the rulership of Nahashtan. And then you start a restoration, and then you start also the reduction of time from 2031, as the Messiah said. The time will be reduced for the sake of the elect. Why? Because the holy cities are returning, and then those saved in the Messiah and selected are returned to the services. Plain and simple, there is no big deal in it. But then being concerned with 2012? Ridiculous. Absolutely make no plans for it. Don't be in a cave. Don't be stupid buying generators and stacking up in a cave over there and being like a cave person. You're going to get up in the morning on the 22nd and then the world is going to shine up, nice sunshine in the morning. The water is yet at the stream. You can go and drink it. Then get back to work. Please stay tuned.